House Representative David Smith, I don't know what you were thinking, dude. So, can you can you explain why you oppose constitutional carry? I don't oppose constitutional carry. Oh, you support it? I oppose open carry. Well, because these people don't understand the difference. I suppose now we have a conversation where you enlighten. How many more of you are out there? Enlighten me. So, <laughs> open carry is publicly wearing a sidearm and, and uh, you know, in where, wherever you want in the state. Yeah. Like Calvin. And there are some states that have it. I don't believe open carry is right for Florida. Why? Because those European track tourists spend, you know, seven times as much. South American tourists that come spend four times as much as America. <laughs> Go Brazil! <laughs> Good luck! <Okay>. Buena suerte! <laughs> pescando, pescando, pescando! Okay! today. Okay, so Where are you from today? I, I live here. Also. Oh, nice, yeah, nice. I love the flags and everything. Oh, yeah, we're very patriotic today. That today is I, a very, I very, a, we love America okay, today. That's fish for you, okay? All right, thank you. Have a great day. How y'all ladies doing? Hello. All right, all right. Have a great day. I promise you, All right. Um, how you doing, guys? Hi. There you go. Thank you, Mike. Hand them out to friends, friends and family. Let them know that guns save lives. Thank you. All right, all right. What's up, brother? What's up? Yeah, man. Um, while you're fishing, hunting, and camping, we were up up we're up over here uh, fishing. We just got to run back to the car and grab some more waters. But while you're fishing, hunting, and camping, it is 100% lawful for you to open carry any type of firearm you want. So do you conceal weapon license? No, you do not. No? No, you do not. And you can actually you can actually conceal carry or open carry under while you're fishing, hunting, and camping. I so know either. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 790.25. And what's your help? I have an M&P 1522 and a Glock 23, a 40 caliber Glock. Okay, you're not kidding, huh? No, no. I'm all about my Second Amendment rights. Don't okay. tread on me. Okay. I won't hurt you. You don't hurt me. Everybody will be happy. Okay. See? But if I hurt you. Then, well, that's a whole different story. I don't want to get to that road. I'm going to try to walk away and not get hurt, but we don't want to do that. We're not, you know, violence isn't the answer. We don't want violence, but people are violent. There are criminals that want to do harm, and the best way to combat somebody that wants to do harm sometimes is having an equalizer, and sometimes it's a firearm. Our economy. Does everybody like not having an income tax in Florida? Yeah. 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 So we have a sales tax, and our and our economy is tourism and and cultures that don't grow up with guns, don't have the NRA and gun safety. What the hell did you just say? Don't have the NRA and gun safety. NRA is single largest gun safety organization in, in the United States. That's why I'm a life member of the NRA. Whoop de do. Whoop de do. Yeah. Whoop de do. Yes. And and so for business reasons, I, I don't think that open carry is right before. Constitutional carry or permitless carry is different. And I'll tell you I'm I'm undecided on the issue. So I'm I'm open. If the bill gets filed and we're gonna hear it, I'm you're welcome to come talk to me and lobby or whatever, or for or against or, or whatever. But I, I don't really spend a whole lot of time and effort in to research bills that I'm not going to vote on. Again, 3,500 bills. I only have time to the ones that I'm going to vote on, the ones that, you know, that are going to come before my committees. That's where I spend time and effort. And if it's not going to be heard, I didn't, I didn't do a whole lot of research. But you know, I'm, I'm essentially undecided on the issue. I'd like to hear from the business community, other people, on, on what they think is, is uh, permitless carry right for Florida. 
So just to follow up on that, I, I have to say that 25 other states have passed constitutional carry, and they all include open carry. Uh, there are only two other states that don't have open carry, and that is New York and Illinois, uh, and then, of course, Florida. And that's really not a good crowd to be associated with. Um, you know, I, I just wanted to, you know, uh, f fill you in on that. Yeah, if, if, if we've got a bill, I'd be happy to read. You know, I don't comment on legislation I haven't read. You know, and, uh, and and if we're not going to vote on it, I, I really don't spend a whole lot of time because we don't have a lot of time. Again, the legislative the commodity during the legislative session is time because we're only there for 60 days. We've got to get all the state's business done before we come back in special session. What's going on? Soliaka here, and we're going to be talking about David Smith. Um, he's a House representative out of the 28th District. Um, and if you don't know, here in Florida, we're having a, like, I guess it's kind of like an emergency meeting or something, because they have things to talk about, about the permitless carry or the constitutional carry that they're trying to pass here in Florida. Um, I was given some information by a good friend, his name, uh, his YouTube channel is Carry Daily. He's na his name is Andy the Gun Guy. Um, I'll leave his links. A lot of these links will be in the description below. But anyway, he reached out to me. I'm making this video. I'm trying to, I, I kind of messed up and didn't get it out in time. But for anybody that can attend this, it is coming up very, very soon. It's going to be happening on April 20th of this year uh, at 12 p.m. sharp at the Florida State Capitol. Um, it, this is for anybody. If you believe in the Second Amendment, you should be here. Um, like I said, it's going to be at the Florida State Capitol, 400 South Monroe Street, Tallahassee, Florida. Links will be in the description, all that stuff, and I'll put it in the pinned comment as well. Um, it is the people that are going to be, that will be there, are going to be American Gun Coalition, Big Daddy Unlimited, Gun Owners of America, um, Representative Anthony Sabatini, and I believe he's the one that actually kind of wrote up this bill for the permitless carry or the constitutional carry bill that, that we that we do have. So let's get behind this. Let's show a lot of support. I try not to get too political, but this is a very good possible way for us to get this right now because they, this is the last time they're going to talk about it until the next session. And that won't be until next year or a couple years from now or whatnot. Basically, what I'm asking, if you want to be there, come on out and be there. Let your voice be heard. Um, I'm going to have my voice be heard. Um, I will, you know me, uh, I'm going to be very polite and cordial about this. For anybody that wants to email any one of these representatives, and the one thing I would say about all of this is that they say that tourism is going to be affected. They're saying that all the people in the United States that come to Florida because because we're out there open carrying or permitless carrying it's going to affect our tourism it doesn't affect anywhere else it doesn't affect it doesn't affect it I mean, it really doesn't these the people are more curious about it than they are scared of it but anyway I digress links are in the description don't forget hit that like share and that subscribe button and um I hope to see a lot of you on April 20th at noon. I will be there in Tallahassee, and I, um, I'm i going to let my voice be heard as well. So, I'm out of here. Soli Ecker, deuces.